15 foot putting pads at one, two, three, and four foot slopes. We also have a lag putting station. Now, not everybody can hit the ball close to the hole with long irons. Even with chip shots, sometimes it's impossible to get close. I don't want a three putt. I don't want you to three putt. You've got to practice lagging to the hole so that your next putt is just a kick in and you avoid the three putts. Look, we spent a week, honestly. Now, my son built this backyard and the deck, but we spent a week getting this part of it flat, as flat as we could. Now we've measured it. It actually breaks about six inches in 72 feet from this pin to that pin you see down there. But I don't want to only be great 72 foot putter. I want to be everything, every distance in between here, great. So what I've got here, I very innocuously have put three little sticker dots that are permanent on the cement. And I can bring my balls here and practice 60 footers. It's just 12 feet from there. Then I go 10 more feet and I put two little sticker dots. This is 50 footer. I've got a 72, a 60, a 50, and a 40. That one dot right there is 40 feet. I can practice, of course, any length I want, straight putts, but I can also practice anything out to 72, and it's important. Most amateurs, we've taken a lot of data, a lot of amateurs can putt pretty well, and a lot of amateurs putt within the pro percentages from 6 feet and 8 feet and 10 feet. They're pretty good. There's some good amateur putters. But in general, amateurs putt three putt three times to 10 times to 16 times. 30 handicappers, three putt 16 times what the pros do. That's crazy. Look, if you want to lower your handicap easily, stop three putting. Start practicing from 60, 50, 40. Not, not difficult, not hard to do. Just use the same stroke, make a bigger swing. You can do it. Stop three putting. That's what this lag putting station is for.